Hi guys, my name's Jenny. I'm a trainee instructor for the Academy of Modern Canine Behaviour and Training. Um, I am going to do a little cookery video for you. I don't know how this is going to go, so please bear with me. Um, I'm also um, going to talk to you about the high value treats and what it is that we discuss um, in our training sessions um, and sort of moving forwards to help you. Um, high value treats are treats that generically have quite a high smell content so there could be um, things like fish or um, liver, liver is a massive favourite in a lot of dogs um, and things that they don't normally get on a day to day. Um, now um, we tend to use liver cake in our training sessions however you can use um, tuna so I'm going to demonstrate a tuna cake today which is quite an easy recipe for anybody to try at home. Um, there, you can also use things like cheese, although it's not recommended in big amounts. Um, uh, sausages, as long as there are high um, meat uh, content. Uh, hot dog sausages um, can be a quick on-the-go grab if you don't have anything else uh, to, um, to use, um, but we would discourage you from using them all the time. The trick with this is that you use them um, in order to, um, to reward your dogs. Uh, in the highest possible way for doing something new. If it, you're just continuing with training, then um, then you may not need the high value treats. You might um, be able to move on to something else. If they're fed kibble, for example, you can use uh, their food. Um, but um, for something brand new, um, it's always a good idea to have in your arsenal a little bit of a high value treat um, just to get that message across and of course to keep their focus. So as you can see, uh, I've already prepared my ingredients. A tin of tuna, now this has to be either spring water um, or in oil. Um, I prefer in oil, but um, the preference is yours. Uh, the recipe itself asks for one large egg. Um, obviously in these times I don't have a large egg, so I'm using two. Um, it does ask for 90 grams worth of flour, um, however, I find that sometimes you might need a little bit more, um, so always have a little bit more um, on hand, but don't worry if you don't use it all. Um, and some kind of blender, food processor or mixer. Um, you can just use your hands um, and push it all together, um, that works fine. Uh, what happens with that is it doesn't tend to bind quite so well or rise quite so well in the oven. Um, you need really need to be able to mince it all up together in order to create um, the air pockets. And as a little added extra, as my girl sometimes has a little bit smelly breath, uh, we have some parsley um, and some mint, just a tablespoon of each. These are safe to use in your dog treats. Um, I tend to buy the reduced uh, fresh uh, um, mint and, and parsley or any herbs that I use and just pop them in the freezer, pull them out and chop them up as and when I need them. Please remember to grease your pan, um, that's really important. Um, as with all cake baking, um, as standard, um, it can stick to the bottom, so it's always a good idea to have greaseproof paper. Um, and preheat your oven um, to gas mark four. Sorry, I don't know the conversion, so um, you can find that out on the internet. Um, with this, it's nice and simple. All you do is put all of the ingredients into the food blender, um, and um, and then add the flour to make the um, the correct consistency. So if we add the tuna first, trying to make sure that all the oil from the tin goes into the blender as opposed to all over the side like I've just done. And then because obviously I'm adding herbs, which you don't have to, not a requirement. Um, I always put those in next. I said mint and parsley are great for any dogs that might have a little bit of a, a smelly breath. Um, obviously, if they haven't got any other um, um, conditions at all to be aware of. Um, I normally add at this point one egg, and this is just to make sure there's some kind of fluid in there. and then just give it a little bit of voice just to mix it up. Okay, so once that's mixed up a little bit, I add the other egg. And then again, mix it up, but for a bit longer this time to try and make sure that all of the ingredients are um, nice and fine. Okay, so 
now I tend to add about half the flour um, and this is again it's purely and simply because I find sometimes you need a little bit of extra flour um, so I always measure out more than what I need uh, so it's about half the flour and then again same thing just make sure that it's all lo lovely and mixed <laughs> what you're looking for is a consistency uh, that is uh, a bit paste like so that's quite close um, but you need lots of air in there so it may be that um, that you might need to uh, to whisk, whisk it for a little bit longer um, similar with with, um, with sort of normal cake baking really um, the same rules apply um, so just make sure that you're happy with the consistency um, and um, that it is um, the correct consistency for making a, a simple tray bake style cake. Once you've got to the consistency um, that you like, uh, then it's just a case of transferring that into the baking tray, uh, making sure uh, that it's as even as you can be. I mean, obviously we're not gonna win any awards for this and the dogs don't really care what it looks like, um, but, um, making it as even as possible would mean that it bakes um, evenly um, and you don't end up with a, a soggy part or a um, or a, a more cooked part or crispy part um, and it should be fairly even without all the way through now see as you can see, one tin of tuna uh, does uh, this uh, small rectangular baking tray. Um, it's completely up to you how much of this you want to bake. Uh, I have put it in the freezer um, in the state that it's in and then re-whisked it um, and brought it back out again later. Um, if I don't need the as many treats um, or I'm just looking for a, a couple of minutes, uh, a couple of quick treats. Equally, um, with this, you can also put it in the microwave. So if you are stuck for time, uh, you can uh, put it onto a plate um, in the microwave for four minutes either side. Now the problem with that is it doesn't um, it doesn't stay very well. So it, you can't you can't keep it for very long. It is literally for a on that day treat, um, and and um, and so for that reason, I try to always make sure that I do it in the oven. As I said, you put it in the oven for uh, on gas mark four um, for about fifteen to twenty minutes. But watch it um, again; it's really um, the correct consistency or the correct colouring on top is just for it to be slightly browned, and you want it to kind of spring back when you uh, press it, similar to a normal tray bake um, that you would make for a human. So um, I've just taken mine out of the oven. It's been in for about twenty minutes, so a little bit longer than the fifteen minutes specified. Um, it, it has a nice colouring if I just move you there. Nice colouring on the bottom now that I flipped it over, um, but it is catching a little bit on the edge where it's slightly, uh, uh, slightly more brown there. But you can just see it's evenly cooked on top. Um, now I'm going to leave that to cool probably for about another sort of 15 minutes, um, so that it's cool to touch, but it's not quite cool all the way through. That just makes it easier to chop up into into portions. Now we use uh, about um, inch cubes or, uh, or quarter, um, half inch cubes um, in training and that's an easy to grab sort of portion. You can break it up to into four or six pieces depending on the size of your dog. Um, it's completely up to you what size that you, you cut this into, um, but, but obviously it has to be easy for you to be able to handle. Um, the uh, the tuna cake uh, does um, does keep for up, up to a week um, in uh, in an airtight container in the fridge, um, or if you wish to, you can chop it up and freeze it, um, and then you can keep it for three months um, in the freezer. So this is the finished article, guys. As you can see, uh, it's been chopped into um, small uh, 
cubes, which you can then break up into smaller cubes as you're training. Um, it's a lot flatter than um, the traditional liver cake. Um, and that's just purely and simply because the ingredients are a little bit heavier and there's not quite so much air um, in the mixture. Uh, if there's anything else at all that you'd like help with, any other cooking tips or, of course, any other um, tips or tricks and things that you would like to learn how to do, um, then um, we would be more than happy to help. Um, so please feel free um, to give us a shout. Thanks. Bye.